Yes, uh, good morning, students. Um, today, let us uh, start with the new module, is JavaScript. In this, I am going to cover the uh, client-side scripting. What is JavaScript and uh, what what it can do? Uh, then, uh, JavaScript design principles and uh, where does JavaScript go? So, basically, we should understand that what is JavaScript. Okay? So, where it is going to be used. So once uh, if you know about the JavaScript, so you can able to do so many concepts of this particular uh, JavaScript. So basically, JavaScript is going to be used for the client-side programming language, the scripting language basically. So it is going to be used towards the client side. So client side is nothing but whenever that uh, you be going to communicate with the server. Okay, one is client and one is server. So when a client is going to be present the data is going to be the forms are going to be there in that and you have to validate those forms if you are not going to validate those forms what happens the more pressure will be there it means to say that the evaluation means uh, execution point of view the um, server is going to take more uh, time and if any um, mistakes are going to be present in that particular form so the validations is going to take place and then after only what is required for that particular form is going to be given to the client so uh, time is going to be wasted more towards that particular uh, form by the server so if you have this client uh, scripting language what happens you'll be going to validate all the things in the client side itself and uh, Verified information that will be given to the server. So what happens? So the faster way of execution that it is going to be done towards the server. So let us see that what exactly this client side scripting is. I can able to see over here the client side scripting language. Okay. So here it is going to works like this. There is a client is there. Here you can able to see this is a client. First is that he is going to ask for some uh, HTML program. That is the location dot HTML is there by using the get method. So here, what happens? Uh, the web server is going to give the information about the location dot HTML program. Is towards the client only. Execute any JavaScript is as it is required. So uh, validations of this one, uh, this particular program, is going to be get validated towards the uh, client side. So then after that it will be shown in the browser, the client side only the browser will be there, that it is going to be shown. So after doing this particular thing, if any mistakes are going to be there, it is getting corrected over client side itself. So it is easy to manage by the uh, server. So what are the client side <coughs> advantages? Okay. So there are many advantages are there towards the client scripting so what happens basically is uh, processing can be offloaded in the server to client machines so thereby reducing the load of the pressure this is what I, I said about that the pressure is nothing but the load will be towards the uh, server is going to get reduces the browser can respond more rapidly to user events than a request to the remote server or could be so it is means to say that the faster way of execution is going to be done towards the from the server okay. so <coughs> another thing is that javascript can interact with the downloaded html so in way that the server cannot it means to say that the data is going to be present towards the client and it can execute uh, means uh, it can uh, manipulate or uh, do some uh, corrections faster way than the uh, server okay creating a user experience more like desktop server okay software than the simple html okay so it is nothing but the programs will be there or the data is going to be present of that particular uh, site or a form so that it is if it is downloaded then it is easily it can be get executed means uh, corrected in the uh, javascript the client side it is going to be more uh, faster way uh, the server can able to work that is a major advantage of 
JavaScript. Next is uh, the disadvantage of this tensor uh, is it, the how programs use JavaScript in their application. That is important thing. So there is no guarantee that the client has this um, JavaScript enabled. Sometimes uh, the client side it will be not going to use this uh, JavaScript. Okay. The ideal synchronizers okay, between the various browsers and operating systems make it difficult to test for all operational so all potential client configurations. Artworks in the browser, one browser may not work in other. It won't happen. It won't happen. Okay. Some of the mm, languages, some of the languages, okay, this uh, JavaScript and uh, VScript, there are so many scripting languages are going to be there. Okay. So this is going to work in one uh, browser, may not work in this another browser. Uh, see, because of that only, uh, Microsoft is going to use uh, VBScript. So, other than the Microsoft, so those browsers, that is, IE, IE is going to use uh, VBScript, okay. You are a Mozilla, then uh, Safari, all others, okay. Uh, they'll be going to use this uh, JavaScript. So, what happens is uh, the program will be same and it is not going to work in the other browsers. So, do not be panic for that. Only thing is that. Uh, it is not going to support that's it javascript heavy web application can com complicated in uh, to debug and maintain so this is another problem is there so if more uh, information is there in that particular application it is very difficult to manage so some of these are the disadvantages of javascript what is then javascript is javascript is nothing but it runs right inside the browser browser itself is the execution part in this so the javascript is dynamically typed as and when that it is going to be required that it is going to get executed over there javascript is object oriented that almost everything is in the language or is in the object of object type it is but we cannot say that the object uh, oriented language you can say the object based language so inheritance and polymorphism is not going to be present in this javascript the objects will be there okay the object in this javascript are prototype based rather than class based is what i said it means that the javascript shares some syntactic features of php java or c sharp quite different from other languages so it is a object based language rather than object oriented language So some frameworks are going to be there this thing i am discussed in the previous module so that is a frameworks so you can have here you can see this is a date picker is there coordination then um, auto complete so this is so if you just type it in the that uh, search bar okay so automatically one character if you type related to that it is going to be get displayed over there then here is the um, that box is going to be there here okay then is the image uh, slider okay like this you can able to click so step by step that it is going to move these are the some frameworks are present for this technology so how this is going to be done by using this javascript now javascript design principles so how it is getting designed when designing the software to solve the problem it is often helpful to abstract the solution to little bit of help by a cognitive model in your mind that you can able to that you can then implement it is nothing but the way in which you wanted to design the application so based on that the javascript is going to work some form you want to design for example a student uh, management system that you want under that the information that you want to take is a user that is a student name student id then college name semester these things so first you have to validate those things there should not be any uh, gap between the uh, that uh, information okay. so you should not skip